Kabo Mohamed. And a nice understand. And Kabo Mohamed comes with that. Cross the chance for Karim Bilaza. It's goal number one for Bilas. Was just talking about it. Ezekiel was in the team, and one of the Ezekiel, Ezekiel Lumba, is the one that was at the end of that uh, cross from Gambo Mohamed. It was Gambo who dropped the ball for Overmata. Overmata returned, and Gambo's pull out was heavily met by a howitzer of a left foot shot there by Ezekiel Lumba, making it one goal for Kenu Pilas and none for Sunshine Wit, as they were beating for the first time this season. We have the new man you're talking about, Abdul Haruna. He is quite popular. They call him senior here. And a lot of that uh, equalizer. A lot of that uh, has broken the hearts of the uh, Canopilas fans. Dele Olorun Dari there. Riding the tackles of what the Ayimba. Uh, that's Ayimba. Riding all tackles that came his way. And one on one with Tiovilos and fellow guy. He chipped the ball over Tiovilos for the equalizer in the 71st minute of this game. He shows the strength and intelligence of Dele Olorun Dari. He might not have had it good when he went to Turkey. Solomon Kwambe, Nigeria International, with the corner kick floated in, missing all heads, and a chance for Socha to go ahead. The goalkeeper, a fellow eye, and it's in the net. The goalkeeper, one thought he was infringed upon, but that uh, goal must scramble of uh, giving Sunshine the lead here. Take another look at that cross. Solomon Kwambe's cross uh, came in. And finally, goal might scramble, really. And Kingsley duo, the former shooting stars, man, finally, at the end of it, they have played according to their plan. Uh, Kano Pillars, uh, they need to send the ball into the box. And this must be the last uh, chance attacking football for Kano Pillars, and it goes. Uh, can he hit it to the net? It is equalizer! Gambo Mohamed has equalized for Kano Pillars. 96 minutes, the last minute of additional time, and uh, Kano Pilas has equalized. Gambo Mohamed is it. Considering how bright the Kachikwese one has been, he just had no answer to this shot by Gambo Mohamed. It is ended here in Kano. What a match. All over here, Kano Pilas, they have fought so hard when everyone thought they were not going to get that, uh, uh, not going to get that equalizer. It came. At the last ditch, last attacking for it. All right, so that's uh, some highlight for you from uh, Sunshine Stars' visit uh, to Cano Pillars. We'll talk more about that later on. Uh, and, of course, we'll also talk about the Globe Premier League. We'll, we'll come back to talk about the Globe Premier League in the next couple of minutes. But I'm told that we need to quickly cross over to Washington. Our good friend, Sonny Young, is waiting on the line. And uh, we missed out on Sonny Young last week, and it looked like we missed that for a long, long time. Sonny, good to have you back on the show. Sonny, can you, can you get us, Sonny? Can you get us? Good to see you, Sonny. Good to see you. I mean, you, you've got to give us two in one. Tonight, last week and this week, you've got to give us a loaded package on the show tonight. Basketball stories, one of the most popular sporting events here in the USA right now is the Men's College Basketball Championship Tournament. We've reached the stage called the Sweet 16. Sweet 16, only 16 teams remaining in contention for the national title. There will be four games later Thursday night and four more games on Friday night. Toyin, let me run down the games for our viewers uh, quickly. On Thursday night, Dayton from Ohio will play Stanford from California. Baylor from Texas will battle Wisconsin. Top-seeded Florida will face UCLA, winner of a record 11 national titles. Let me see, Toyin. There's 10. And one more makes 11 <laughs> for UCLA. And uh, in case our viewers might know one of the VOA personalities, Shaka Sali, host of our Straight Talk Africa program. Mm. Shaka is a proud graduate of UCLA. Yay, yay. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Another top seed, Arizona, is matched against San Diego State from California. 
And on Friday night, let me run down the games quickly, Toyin. Mm. Friday night, four more games. Top-seeded Virginia will go against Michigan State. Iowa State will play Connecticut in an all-Kentucky matchup. Defending national champion Louisville will take on the University of Kentucky, and Michigan is matched against Tennessee. They call it March Madness, Toyin. Mm. March Madness. Mm. Fever. The fever is burning for U.S. men's college basketball. <laughs> Amazing, Sonny. Amazing, Sonny. Now, now let's cross to the NBA. Um, start with your team, Washington Wizards, and then talk about <laughs> Miami. It's how well are they doing, Sonny? And I'm not too sure they're doing too well. Toyin, you love to rub it in, don't you? <laughs> you know my Wizards have not been playing well lately. They, they had a terrible West Coast road trip, Toyin. They, uh, they got back from the West Coast. They played four games. They won only one. They came back to Washington. They played the Phoenix Suns, and the Sun rose to win. The Suns beat the Wizards very easily. They got another tough game coming up to win on Friday night right here in Washington. They're playing the Indiana Pacers, mm. and I'm checking my uh, stats right now. The Pacers are having a great year. Right now, they have the third best record in the NBA, 52 wins and 20 losses. Shout out for the San Antonio Spurs, Toyin. They mm. have the league's best record, 55 wins and 16 losses. The Spurs have won 15 games in a row. They are red hot. Well, well Sonny, we have to let you go now, but we'll keep our eyes <laughs> on the games this weekend. And, of course, I'll be watching out for you and Washington Wizards. And go Sunshine Stars. Sunshine Stars, Toyin. I like that name. Sunshine Stars. <laughs> okay. All right. Sonny, thank you so much for speaking to us on Spots tonight. <laughs> thank you for having me, Toyin. Always a pleasure, Sonny. I mean, Sonny brings a lot to our show anytime we're able to get him on. And, uh, I mean, he's just giving us a lowdown on all that is going down, of course, um, in the NBA. We're still going to come back in the next couple of minutes to look at what is going down on the domestic scene. Yemi, I'm, I'm sure you're ready for us. But before we do that, let me just run through very quickly uh, for you some stories from the Glow Premier League. And um, just talk about tomorrow. Remember that the league management company have started a new innovation. It's a new deal um, uh, in the Glow Premier League this season, and that is to play games on Friday. They've called these games Friday Special. Initially, we call them Friday night games, but they are gonna they are gonna be played in the afternoon. So we drop that night and we we'll call it Friday special. Let's bring you the fixture of uh, the game that will be played tomorrow um, in the Glow Premier League, the Friday game, Friday special game, and that will be coming to you from Gombe. I hope you can see it on your screen. Um, it's going to be Gombe United against Atlant of Oweri. Atlant played the Friday game last week at home to Sharks and uh, ended in a draw. Maybe this time around that they are on the road, they will also get something from this game. Hopefully, uh, they, they might be able to. And um, that, that's what we expect to see uh, in the Global Premier League. Teams uh, travel away, get mm. results, not just draws, you know. Mm, go mm, mm, go mm. to, you know, away venues uh, and pick results. And, you know, and I'm also hoping that when home teams lose, mm. they, they will have a good attitude uh, to it and there won't be any crowd violence or some of those things. Uh, we used to see. Mm. But before I go on a break, Yemi, and um, of course come to talk uh, domestic uh, uh, basket, but let me read this piece of news. It's coming through news alerts, uh, and it's uh, uh, coming through from Total Promotions. It says the Lagos High Court, presided over by Justice Ogala today, threw out an application by the league management company, the LMC, to dismiss the suit filed against it by Total Promotions Limited on the grounds that the court lacked jurisdiction. It means that issue of title rights and um, all of those issues are still hanging around. It's not, it's not dead. N not dead yet. And I hope that the LMC, Total Promotions Limited, and everybody involved in all of these issues can, in the interest of the game, let it go to bed and let our game move forward. All right. We don't have all the details because we are not... Um, you a son? <laughs> not. <laughs> but we hope that all of these issues can be resolved as quickly as possible. Let's go on a break. Um, this time we're bringing you the game between Lakers and New York Knicks. Uh, when we return, Yemi is here. He will give us all that we need to know happening on the domestic scene. Join us again.